What's going on guys? Welcome back to Art Adventures. So today we're gonna go ahead and draw a pumpkin theme uh, for the fall season. Um, this is gonna be um, drawn in a few different ways, but uh, just to get started, I got my uh, permanent marker, piece of paper, and we're gonna get started. Follow along. So uh, first, I'm gonna start off with two basic shapes, right? So I'm gonna start off with kind of in the center of the paper, a U shape, not perfectly up and down, um, but kind of spread out. And then up here, I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. This one's gonna be more of a lowercase n and a little bit more exaggerated on the height of it, all right? And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this pumpkin shape going, okay? So, starting in the middle of this line, I'm gonna bring this down and connect it to the side here. Same thing, but on the other side, I'm gonna come down and bring it over. So it kind of looks like there's three lumps. All right, that's not completely it yet. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw a stem here, two lines kind of at a curve an oval at the top. Then I'm gonna go over here in between the stem and um, this left side of the pumpkin, okay? And I'm gonna go in between and draw another curve. But since I drew it higher on the top, I'm gonna leave it a little shorter on the bottom here. I'm gonna do the same thing between this, uh, these two curved lines. I'm gonna bring it around and I'm gonna stop it before it gets all the way to the bottom. The last thing you're gonna do is just kind of do another little bump from here to that stem and then same thing on this side to that side. So now you kind of get that it's caving in on the top, okay? Can't really see the bottom too much because you're kind of at a top view. Now, there's gonna be multiple ways that I'm gonna draw this specific shape. I'll show you in different videos. But for this one, this is what we're gonna do. Not on this curve, but right next to it, okay? We're gonna draw a shape like that. And then we're gonna draw another shape right inside of it. and that's gonna be your chin or your lower jaw, okay? So, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna draw a square here and a square there. Those are gonna be his teeth, kind of like SpongeBob, just got two big front teeth and a big old gap between them. Okay? So now you have your two teeth. All right, now that is gonna be your smile, okay? And right above your smile, I'm gonna draw these big round eyes. Once you do that, you're gonna draw two smaller circles on the inside, and then you can color the rest in black. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and draw the eyebrows. Eyebrows are gonna be a simple rectangle like this, rectangle like that, nothing special. If you wanna color them in black, you can. If not, you just keep it a different color if you'd like. Kind of up to you. All right, so now since we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and draw the body. The body's kind of fun, very simple, very easy, um, but really fun. I, I really enjoy this body. So it's kind of similar to um, most of the bodies that I draw with kind of in a chibi form, two parentheses, right? Then you're gonna close this off, close this off. So you have an L shape on both. Then you're gonna go 
right above that, do a slight curve, a little bit bigger than this gap, and then do an angled line there. That'll close off the body. And then this way, we're gonna do our overalls. Our overalls are gonna be a little different. Um, so we're gonna go down and up like a really long U or like a noodle or a tentacle or something like that. And up again. Okay. In the center, but on the bottom there, you're gonna draw these two little uh, circles on the inside. Those are gonna be the buttons. Make sure when you draw this line, you don't go through those two spots right there, but you also go higher than your two circles. Your two circles are gonna uh, be what holds this piece of cloth up and the actual bottom part of the cloth up. So it's gotta be above the actual buttons. So there are your overalls. Now let's do two different things. We're just gonna give an end to the overalls. So either you could do like some black shoes or since pumpkins are uh, orange, I like to do orange feet. If you wanna give this person a shirt, you can, just like I'm gonna do in a second. So that we're gonna go to the left side of the body. We're gonna go over by the other side of the chin. We're gonna go down past the waist which is that line right there, okay? And do a U back up to the top, okay? And it kind of connects to the waistline. Same thing on this side, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna curve it, go right up to that waistline. So now you got your arms. The arms are very simple, very easy. There's nothing to it, it's just a J, a backwards J and a forward J pretty much at a curved angle, all right? Um, last thing, find a spot if you can. I don't really have a big spot, so I'm not going to do it. But um, what you can do is kind of make a little square um, as a patch um, and just kind of gives it a little bit more detail. I don't have enough room, so I'm not going to do it. Typically, that's what I would do. But in this case, we're not going to do it. So um, on the arms, if you want to keep them out as if this is just body, and he only has overalls on, that's okay. You can color those in orange um, to show what his skin color would be, or you could do how I'm gonna do and give him a shirt and just do lines like that to give him some sleeves. If you wanna do long sleeves, do them down here by the waistline and you'll have long sleeves. Um, last thing is gonna be our background box, nothing, special um, this is just kind of separates the background and gives us um, a little bit more pop here so it's not just a figure floating in midair i'm gonna go ahead and get this colored but in a separate video coming soon see you guys for the next one